Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for this problem. That is a that is a special character. Okay, so we are given an integer. Okay, and our task is to build a string of uppercase Latin letters. There must be exactly n special characters in this string. Let's call this special character if it is equal to exactly one of its neighbors. Okay, so for example, there are six special characters, and how? Let's see. So, if we see this, this is one special character, first one, third one is another special character, and uh, we can say third, fourth is not, fifth is special character, and sixth is also special character because it is equal to one of the neighbors, C and A, so it is equal to A, and C is one more, <coughs> and this one is also, so total we have six, right? So let's see the example. It's a very straightforward solution. <clears throat> so let's see. So if we see, like, let it be, we put A and A, right? So how many special characters are possible? One here, one here, because it is equal to exactly one of the things, right? That is the thing. But can we make one one special character? It's simply not possible because like we need neighbor and in one it is not possible. So let's see. Is it possible for three? It is odd. Let's say A and A we have. <clears throat> so A and A that means one special character here, one special character here. Can we make another special character? Let's add it here A again. If we add it A again here, so this A, this particularly has two same neighbors, but we want only one same neighbor. So it is not a special character anymore, but this is because it has only one neighbor, right? So we can't put again A. Can we put something else? Let's see. So let's put it B. But this is special. No, not now. We put it again B here. Is this special? Yes, it is special. But this is also special. At the same time, this is also special. That means we can't make three. Instead of we have to make it four. So we can say like by this conclusion, what we can say? We can say like it is not possible for odd numbers. Right? Odd numbers, it's not possible. Even we can. And do we need to have like M, M, C, C like that? No, obviously not. Why not? Like suppose if we want to achieve this 6, what we can do? <clears throat> if we want to achieve for 6, what we can do? Directly A, A, right? It contributes to 2. Then do B, B. It contributes to 2. Then C, C, not C, C. We don't need CC, so what we can do? We can do again AA. This will also contribute to 2. So, 1, this is also special, this is also special, this is special, this is special. So, every character is special. And we need to have the alternate thing. Like, if it is 8, then we need to do again BB, it is 10, AA. And you need to solve in this fashion. That is a very straightforward solution. Hope you understood it. So, let's see the code for this. <coughs> So if you see like we just need to take the input and check if it is odd. If it is odd, answer is no. If it is even, answer will be yes. And what is that particular? I have declared this i variable as 0 to check like what is the position. Like we are adding AA or BP. If it is even, we will add AA and update it to odd. Like it is odd. It is representing odd. That's it. Nothing else. So at the second iteration, what is happening? It will be 1. So it will be hitting this case. So we will add BB. Then again, we will make I equal to 0, odd even, odd even. We are we are playing with that. And like we know in each iteration, two special characters can be considered. So we are decreasing by this. 
this is the logic for this hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding